I founded Pink Hope when I was told that I carried the BRCA1 gene. In my family, you get cancer and that's pretty much what you grow up and get. My great grandma died from breast cancer when she was 68. My nan was diagnosed at 44 and again at 53. And my mum was just 36. I just thought every single woman that I love, every single woman in my family was fighting cancer. I felt incredibly alone and isolated. I thought that that's what my future would be. It wasn't until I became a new mum at 21, I was offered a genetic test. I had it and I was told I was positive. It pretty much broke my heart in that moment because there was just cancer everywhere and that's what I was thinking. When I was 25, I decided to have my breast removed and I can remember that sense of waking up and feeling that I could plan a future and I could watch my kids grow old and it was just the most amazing feeling that I could look at my mum and feel confident that I wouldn't have to go through what she did. I was given a gift of hope. That was when I wanted to give the gift of hope to other women like me and other families like mine. You don't have to be alone that you can be under the guiding light of Pink Hope. And so I decided to create Australia's first charity that's focused on hereditary breast and ovarian cancer and has a really strong prevention and empowering message. It's changed my life. I felt incredibly fortunate that I had this knowledge, that I carried this gene and I could essentially change my future. But the whole message of Pink Hope has changed my life. It's made me see my journey as positive and given me and my family a reason to share our story and hope to empower and inspire other families to investigate their family health history. I think it's a message that I really want to share with as many people as I can.